Welcome to another quick guys band tutorial. I've still got a stinking cold, but somebody asked a question. Um, uh, the question they asked was, um, I'm recording my MIDI drums um, in GarageBand and I'll put down the kick drum. Then I want to try and put a snare or, or hi-hats or whatever over the top. And as soon as I do that, it deletes the kick drum. Or the, how, do I, how do I do all that? Well, okay, like this, uh, empty project. And I'm going to start with a software instrument track. By default, um, GarageBand puts the electric piano on there. And this uh, musical typing pops up. If it doesn't, you open and close it with Command K for Kilo. Command K. And musical typing allows you to uh, play the QWERTY keys on your QWERTY keyboard to trigger notes. And the, the black and white keys are shown here. And you change octave up and down like that so I'm going to put this in um, you know uh, I'm using this because I don't have a MIDI master keyboard attached but what I'm going to show you now works the same whether you're playing the MIDI notes in from a, an external master keyboard or tapping your notes in from this musical typing I've set it to C1 so that my A QWERTY key triggers note C1 let's replace uh, this electric piano with a drum kit okay Okay, so um, when you record MIDI onto an instrument track and then you record over the top of that MIDI with another take or another pass, what happens depends on how you've got your main garage band menu preferences set. General, software instrument recordings. Now, you've got a setting for cycle off and a setting for cycle on. So that's cycle on or cycle off, right? So for cycle off, you can have it set to replace or merge. Now, if it's set to replace, then it's pretty obvious what happens. You record one layer. And then if you go to record over that, whatever's underneath will be replaced by the new thing you record over the top. Now you still hear what was previously recorded, but when you finish recording, the previous recording has disappeared and you're left with just the last thing you recorded over the top. All right, okay. That's replaced, but if I set it to merge, then it merges like this. Oh, hang on a minute. Turn the headphones up. I'm having some trouble hearing that click. Here we go. Right, and then there's my kick drum and the snare. Then over the top, I'll record some hi hats. Like that. And because cycle off is set to merge, we're recording without cycling round. It's merged the second recording in with the first one. The kick and snare in the first take and the hi hats in the second take are merged together into one pattern. Like that, and the quantize probably way out. Um, I played it really badly, but okay, they merge together. Right. Um, now, with the cycle on, if you're recording around a cycle range, it's slightly different. Cycle on can either be set to merge, in which case each time it cycles round, what you play in the next cycle round merges in with the first cycle etc like this like that and they all every time it cycles around it merges and merges and merges all those notes together right and that works, you know, whether you're actually cycling round and round and round, or whether you just do one take with the cycle range on. And then stop it, but with the cycle on, record again over the top, it will still merge. Like that, still merges, right? Okay. And the other thing you can do in cycle mode is in cycle is 
create takes. Now this is really useful if you're cycling around and around and around a section of the song, trying different ideas or trying to get something right and you want to record each take as it cycles around and then choose which of those takes that you're going to use at the end. And it works like this. Now, three takes. I end up with the three takes there. Take one, kick and snare. Take two was the hat pattern. Take three was the tom pattern. Right? And then you choose the take you want, uh, and then you can either delete all the other takes, delete unused takes, and, and the ticked take that you're listening to will remain, or delete the selected take, leaving the others. Right? That's um, create takes, which can be useful, as I say, if you're cycling around a section trying to get a particular thing right, either trying to play something as best you can and choosing the best take, or trying different ideas each time it cycles around and then choosing the best of those ideas that you come up with. But that's the different ways that um, overlapping MIDI played over the top of previous MIDI um, can either be re can replace the previous version, merge in with the previous version, um, or create takes in cycle mode, right? I tend to have them both on merge unless I specifically wanted to create takes on a cycle uh, range. Okay, and that is how all that works.